So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can buy a Twilio number and use it to use it as your WhatsApp API number and how to make sure you get the uh, verification code from Facebook when you buy a Twilio number. All right. This is going to be very easy. You need just to follow the steps. A Twilio number usually costs around $1 per month and you only need it. You just need to pay for it $1 a month every month and you just need to get the code one time, the rest you can forget about it, okay? So you need to go first to console, the Twilio console, okay? Log in. I'm going to log in here with my account. All right, and now once we're here, we're going to go to explore products, okay? This is probably where you can see uh, phone numbers, all right? And then you can go to, for example, uh, I think an overview probably we have an idea or let's see manage let's see where it is we're gonna go to voice oh sorry two we're gonna go to phone numbers okay and then we're gonna go to buy a number i'm just gonna buy a number here for this demo all right and i agree to comply with this stuff okay so now we have this number purchased and we have to click here on where it says configure, okay? Now I'm going to share here a, fo a, a, a link. This is what you're gonna put to redirect. This is what you need to put now on Twilio. So here you would put your phone number, okay? I'm gonna put a sample phone. Here you just need to put your phone number with a country code. So once you're here, you go to where it says webhook here and you just simply replace this here and also down here. Again, this should be your phone number here and you click on save configuration. Now, if you wanna connect your WhatsApp number, you would, go, and this is this is now done. You, you can forget about it, you're all good to go. Okay, this is now saved. Now we can go to your WhatsApp API provider. I recommend console notifier because it's the tool we made and it's the easiest way to start automating your WhatsApp. And you can now connect with the with the whatsapp api okay you connect here all right you can and you continue this flow at some point it's going to ask you for a phone number now when we made this link here we put here our personal phone number the number we're using for our personal whatsapp the number we cannot receive calls and when you get to the step on facebook where it's asking you to put the phone number you just put your trillion number okay this number that you've purchased you put it there and it's going to redirect, basically the moment that call comes in here, it's going to redirect it to whatever phone number you put here. So when verifying, I recommend that you ask Facebook to keep you a call. Sometimes the SMS don't arrive. So um, in this step here, when it's asking you for, for, do you want to verify via phone or SMS, choose better to get a phone and then you will receive a phone call. All right, so to recap, once you bought a phone number, click on configure use this exact same URL and put your the phone number that you have available on your mobile device. It doesn't matter which phone number it is, you're just gonna get a call to this. So make sure it's your phone number with country code. Make sure that your phone number, again, you're not going to need it for anything else. So don't worry that this is linked to your personal business. No, you're just gonna use it for, for Facebook verification. And then once you are in the process of uh, connecting with Facebook, on the on the WhatsApp API provider uh, page, then you simply put your Twilio number and it's going to redirect to your personal number and you just have to put the code there and your number will be verified with Meta, okay? This is in the bottom down here. And again, I recommend to use console notifier. It's the easiest way to automate WhatsApp with the WhatsApp API. It connects with Zapier, Make, N810. You can bulk message broadcast, uh, connect with Pipedrive and many other integrations and it has a lot of powerful features as well, besides also having a chat that looks like the WhatsApp web. And also you get to have your own mobile app that looks like WhatsApp and allows you to answer messages on the go, even when you lose your WhatsApp account because you're using it for automations, All right? If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And if you want me to do this for you, you can book a call in the YouTube channel description. Thank you, have a great day.